Okay, Nook Knights, this is Group B. Um, very high level Zerg versus Zerg matchup between two masters of the matchup, Jadong and Calm. Both Jadong and Calm have won ZBZ finals, which is kind of crazy to think about. There haven't been many Zerg versus Zerg finals in the history of Brood War, but these guys were both in them and they both won. And Calm actually dismantled Jadong in a ZBZ semi final before he won his championship against Quanro and the uh, whatever MSL. I always forget the names of the MSLs because there's too damn many of them. I'm sure Ranton will remember, but it's like Avalon or Club Day or something. I don't think it's Club Day. Yeah, it's one of those. Nate? No, that was, uh, that was the one I actually casted. Okay, so anyway, we're moving on to an excellent Zerg vs. Zerg revenge match, I guess you could say. Maybe a revenge match. Because Jadong did lose his semifinal against Calm, and Calm actually cried at the end of that series. Because the best of five against Jadong, beating Jadong in a best of five ZVZ seemed almost impossible. And I'm sure that Calm didn't think he could do it, but he pulled it off anyway. Alright, let's do it. Except, down here at the six o'clock position in orange, scouting in the right direction, I'm guessing it's Jadong. <laughs> Jadong, scouting in the right direction. That means Calm is up there at the two o'clock position in blue. It's going in the wrong direction. Looking very annoyed about it, too. But let me give you the who's screwed, who's not so screwed score sheet for this particular matchup. If Jadong wins, uh, I think that the group is pretty much up in the air, but Haya still has a great chance to move on. Yeah, if Jadong wins, it's going to be... We're going to have some uh, more high-stakes matchups in this group, so don't worry about that. Although, if Calm wins, if Calm wins against Jadong which is definitely possible, he's done it before, uh, the group is decided. Calm could decide this group with this match, which would just be insane. Uh, he and Haya would move out of the group into the round of eight, just because of the, uh, how the matchups work. So I think this is going to be an exciting match, actually. The more I think about it, the more excited I am. All right, let's get a few predictions. I forgot to do that in the last set. Here's one from Flusk writes... Jadong will win his group easy peasy style. His ZVZ lately was solid face roll action. All right, let's check out these build orders for Jadong. Jadong went for extractor first. I'm uh, going to try to get that earlier layer, but this is a pretty mirrored build from both. So this is going to come down to skill and micro. Gotta love it. And scouting too, which Jadong will have the advantage in that field. But here's another prediction from Glenn M99. Writes, you'd be crazy to pick Jadong. You'd be crazy to pick against Jadong in an all-Zerg group. Calm is the only one with a chance of taking a game from JD, which I think gives him an edge and makes him statistically more likely to move on than Haya. Although Haya has put himself in a great position to move on. Here's another one from Arathorn. Arathron? I don't know. I might have misspelled that. 1973 writes, even JVZ is a bit too random for skill to win out, so I pick Calm. JVZ. Yes, the community is uh, like to write that in for it. They've adapted that as kind of the new matchup style. JVZ, JVT, or Flash, FVZ, FVJ. I love it. All right, that lair is up, coming up already for both. And here come the Zerglings out in the middle. Yeah, Calm is sending his Zergling straight to Jadong's base. And Jadong doesn't look like he has... Uh, a lot to fight this back. Of course, from the mini map, it looks like it's just a blue blob, so it's hard to tell how many <laughs> Zerglings that Calm actually has, but he does have enough Zerglings to break if he feels like his micro is up to the task, and he doesn't. He actually runs away from Jadong's base, although he might have been able to take that. Got one extra shot on one of Jadong's Zerglings, but decides that it's not worth it, because probably because he's not pumping that many more Zerglings, he wants to run home and defend himself. Has a few Zerglings at his choke. Going to try to set up a perimeter uh, over his choke so he does not get run run through with Zerglings, which Jadon loves to do. Spire down at the exact same time for both, it seems. There's Calm trying to make it so there's no hole in his defenses, but Jadon almost pushed through. 
But this is a good defense from Calm. He even has some reinforcement circlings at the back to fill holes that Jadong tries to get through. All right, Jadong is still pushing his luck a little bit. He is fighting up the hill, but if he can go down there, go up there rather, and snipe one Zergling, he might be able to run himself through, get the surround that he needs on the remaining Zerglings. And let's see if he can do it. He's already sneaking up with one, one Zergling, trying to find a Zergling he might be able to take down without being hurt too much. But man, this is a tense standoff. I love Zergling standoffs. Both guys uh, trying to snipe a Zergling too. They're both looking for that opportunity. But the Spires are on the way, and that is one um, probably when Jadon is going to try to run through the choke when he has his Mutilus in to help him out <laughs> and breaking that choke. So, yeah, neither player is really committed to anything else. And Jadon putting down his next base and not even pumping in additional, any additional Zerglings to help him break through. And there's Jadon. Oh, look at this smart micro from Jadon. Just sending his Zerglings in one by one. I've never seen that, actually. As he tries to break through. Oh, it gets one Zergling in. But that one Zergling is probably not going to get a lot done. Especially considering there's more Zerglings in. But that was that was so funny. And smart. Just switching off Zerglings so they don't get too badly damaged. <laughs> Trying to take down the one. Now Calm, his uh, little defensive perimeter there is a bit broken, but I'd say he's okay against Jadon, because Jadon's not pumping any more Zerglings. He doesn't have the reinforcements to do that. He just wanted to sneak some Zerglings in to get some drone kills uh, unsuccessfully. So, all right, Calm, they both have a Mutilus out. I don't see any Scourge yet for either of the guys. So they're both, both going straight for Mutas, but Jadon is going to have a second base. I think th that could end up being critical he's kind of reading I think he's reading calm right now saying well calm he's he didn't attack with that attack with those zerglings earlier so maybe he's a little bit reluctant maybe he's playing more defensively in this game which he definitely is so uh, kind of reading calm like a book calm is waiting for Jadong to come to him which is horrible for calm because Jadong has already put down a second base and the longer that goes unharassed the longer Jadong goes unharassed the stronger that Jadong is going to be pumping from two hatcheries it definitely put him over the edge all right Jadong play defensively now he doesn't have to attack at all because that's what calm wants him to do so he just got to hang back and yeah calm knows about the second base now so he might actually move out try to get some damage done or put down his own second base. I mean, he's got to do something, one of the two. He's either got to harass or put down his own second base. And it looks like he might be going out with all of his Zerglings and a couple of Scourge and his Mutas for a big attack at the front. I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's following his Zerglings all the way to the front, it seems. Jadong does have an Overlord out there to scout that. So he's going to be able to position his own troops there uh, to defend himself. There's Calm trying to hide his Zerglings. I don't know if he knows about that Overlord or not. It seems like he does because he's hidden his Zerglings out of range, out of sight range. But nope, uh, going into the Overlord's sight range, Calm is coming down. But Jadong is prepared for this now. He's going to try to land his Scourge as Calm didn't even, wasn't even able to get that one Overlord kill. But the Zerglings streaming in. Oh, there's one uh, Scourge that did land on some of Jadong's troops, but Jadong protects himself with Zerglings. He does have two hatcheries now, which is going to be a huge advantage. Um, Jadong seems that he has more Mutilus, too. As the Mutilus coming in, looks like Calm might actually be able to do this. Yeah, Calm kills... Uh, uh, Jadong kills all of Calm's Mutilus. Sorry, I switched their names up. But GG from Calm. Uh, nice little attack there. So little things about ZVZ that impressed me, like that little Zergling attack, but that's Jadong for you. That's JVZ for you, too. So this group much more up in the air, and the next, the following matchups in this group are going to be high stakes as well. So look forward to it. All right, let's move on to Group C.